Hi everyone! So I am here to do a really exciting video and this was requested a while back when a lot of people were doing these kinds of videos but I am going to start a declutter series and I actually have two pre-filmed declutter videos already and that was when I had my whole new setup or no I'm sorry that was before I had my whole new setup so it was really easy for me to actually do the declutter right on my um, desk behind me but I filmed them a while ago and I want to put them up for you guys because I always find it fun to see what people are kind of like doing away with that's been in their collection for a while. Today's video is actually going to be my decluttering of my eye products. I have so many eyeshadows. Actually, I'm sorry. It's... Is it just eyeshadows? I think it's just eyeshadows. Um, I pre-filmed this a while ago, so bear with me. So all of the single eyeshadows, smaller palettes like quads and trios that I have in my collection, I'm going to be going through them with you, telling you guys a little bit about them and why I'm keeping it or why I'm not keeping it. So if you guys enjoy these kind of declutter videos, let me know. Again, I do have my lip lipstick. Is it my lipstick declutter video? I have that also. So if you want to see it and you like this kind of format and layout and everything, let me know and then I'll do my bronzers, my highlighters, my blushes, my foundations, and I'll do every single category. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm just going to shut up and we're just going to get right to it. Okay you guys, so here are pretty much most of my single eyeshadows and smaller eyeshadow palettes. Um, as you can see, there's not too many because I do have more, I guess, bigger palettes you could say. But for the most part, these are my single eyeshadows. I don't like to have too many singles, as you guys can tell. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go through these and see what I'm going to get rid of and what I'm going to keep. So I'm pretty much going to split it um, on each side. This side over here will be what I'm going to keep and this side up here is going to be what I'm either going to give away, sell, or throw out. I just will decide that after the video. Okay, so I'm first going to start over here. These right here, wow. If you guys have been on YouTube for a while, these are the Sigma eyeshadows that first came out a long time ago. When Sigma started their company, before they were just makeup brushes, they actually had eyeshadows. And actually, this would be, actually be fun to show you guys because I'm sure a lot of you guys didn't know Sigma at this time. So it came in these single eyeshadow pots here. And you would open them up and they would have this weird like, I don't know, like bubble effect. It looks kind of creepy to be t totally honest, but they're really pretty eyeshadows. They kind of had a lot of fallout though. I did a review a long time ago when these first came out, but you could pop these out like that and then put them in a palette. Um, so they had eyeshadows, they had a bunch of different kinds, and they actually sent this to me when they first came out. So they no longer make these, um, but there was a bunch of neutral colors, and I'll show you guys the palette. Here's the empty palette. So there's a mirror and there's four slots here. So obviously Sigma has changed so much, but I always kept these eyeshadows. These are all eyeshadows back here. And I feel like it's just time to get rid of them. I'm going to give them away. They're still like good eyeshadows and like they're not bad quality or anything, but I don't use them and I never touch them. These are actually going to go in this corner over here because I'm going to probably give these away. Okay, now I'm gonna go to right here. My MAC Hello Kitty eyeshadow quad. I think this is called, yeah, Lucky Tom. Keeping this, it's more of a collector's item than anything. I don't really use it, but I'm a collector, so I'm keeping this. Then we have, I'll just do this one while we're at it. I don't know, maybe I should have kept this for my eyeshadow palette declutter video, but whatever. Um, it's here in the single shadows. This is the MAC Foffy collection. This collection came out in 2008, and I think I did a swap for this or something, but it still has the insert. Eyeshadows are, I think I used it once, if anything. Um, but again, more of a collector's item. Look, it doesn't even have a mirror. Like, really cheap plastic. This is just a sticker. Yeah, this was MAC packaging back in 2008, you guys. <laughs> so funny. Was it 2008? No, I think it was before that. It might have been 2007 or 2006, actually. Because the MAC Hello Kitty came out in 2008. So, these I'm keeping. 
I'll put that there. Um, I'll just do this one right here. It's in the corner. This is the Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers Painter's Palette. It's, ugh, I don't know why I bought this. I used it one time for Halloween, like, two years ago. And, yeah, putting this over here. Then I will go to this eyeshadow palette here. This is the Catrice Cosmetics Absolute Nude Eyeshadow Palette. I got this while I was in Barcelona. And the eyeshadows are really pretty. You guys can tell. Like, they're, they're just neutral colors, but to be totally honest, I, I don't love them. They're okay, but I literally... When I wear this eyeshadow palette, it's like I'm wearing nothing on my eyes, and I don't know. I think somebody else can probably get more use out of it, so giving this away. Then, let's go right here. These are some Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes. I really love this palette. This one is their 6 pan palette in Vanity. This one is so gorgeous. I love these 6 pan palettes, so I'm keeping this for sure, because I do use that quite often. This one here is Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells. This is their trio. I think this is um, a permanent trio, actually. So um, I think I'm going to put this on the side. And then we have the 17 Eyes Trio in Metallic Toffee. I don't know if you guys can see that. These are some gorgeous neutral colors, to be honest. Um, and I got this... Where did I get this? I think my friend Larissa sent this to me, actually. And they're gorgeous color, so I think I'm going to keep this. Whenever somebody, like, sends me something or gives me something, it's really hard for me to let go. So I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to go into these here. These are the Revlon eyeshadow palettes. You guys, these were one of my first eyeshadow palettes ever when I started on YouTube. Um, these are so old. Coffee Bean and Berry Bloom. Oh my gosh, this one's broken. All right, definitely getting rid of these, so put it over there. Now I will move on to, I guess these. These can definitely go. These are the e.l.f. cream shadows. It's like a duo cream shadow. I don't know why I still have these. I'm surprised they're actually still creams and they're not dried up yet, to be honest. But yeah, definitely not keeping those. Okay, this here is actually a really nice trio. This is a Too Faced Totally Toasted eyeshadow. Oh, it's a duo, not a trio, sorry. This is gorgeous. You guys can see, I hope you guys can see, this side has been really well loved. Um, the brown is pretty too, but I actually do like this. Oh, uh, I don't know if I should keep this or not. You know what, I think I'm gonna give it away because I have so many neutral shadows. All right, let's do this Wet n Wild palette. Um, this was one of the limited edition palettes. Um, I use this quite a few times. It's a really pretty palette. Really gorgeous colors. This one is called Shimmer the Night Away. Um, I like this palette, so I think I'm going to keep it. Okay, these are easy. My newer, newer Burberry eyeshadows, I have eight of them. I can't get rid of these. They are just too gorgeous you guys I love these eyeshadows they're just so pretty and uh, I'm gonna keep all of them I know eight Burberry eyeshadows but they're fairly new in my collection so I'm gonna keep them there and I have been using them so moving on I have these here which are some loose shadows they're mineral shadows these are by concrete minerals um, I got these a while ago, and I've only used them a few times, so there's a neutral brown, a dark gray, and like a purple color. So honestly, I think I'm going to pass on these, put them over there. Okay, let's do some of these. These I also think I got from my friend Larissa, but I don't think they're even opened. Yeah, these aren't even opened, and I've had them for so long, I just don't think I'm going to use them because I'm not a huge fan of loose shadows so honestly I'm gonna give these away to a friend or family or do something with them so over there these were also sent by my friend Larissa I love these these are the Barry M Dazzle Dust this one's a gorgeous like a oh, bronzy color a dark black with gold and green sparkle and a beautiful like bright purple I'm keeping these these Barry M Dazzle Dusts are so nice they are loose shadows, but they're just too pretty and smooth and nice to let them go. Alright, 
These are also easy. You guys know these are fairly new in my collection, which are the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill eyeshadows. So I'm going to keep these. So pretty. Oh, I'm like showing it to you, but um, the cover's on it. So that's number 28. I think I showed these to you guys already, but what number is this? I can't even see this. Anyway, I'm not going to show you. You guys have seen these. Um, those are the colors there. Keeping these, definitely. Smashbox eyeshadow trios. I love Smashbox lately. And all of these trios are neutral eyeshadows. I'll show you guys. Oh my gosh. Is this the same one? Okay, no. They are different eyeshadow trios. They look so, so similar, as you guys can tell on the camera. Okay, I really need to go through and pick some to get rid of. Okay, so I have four. Hold on. I think I'm going to get rid of... I'm keeping this one. This one is called In Filter. They're all matte colors. This one's gorgeous. I'm going to keep this one. Really good for travel, easy, everyday eye. I'm going to keep that. Um, I'm not, not sure about this one yet. <laughs> this one here is called Macro Lens. That one's gorgeous too. Hold on. Let me see what this one looks like. This one's called Fixed Focus. Okay, I think I like this one. Alright, you know what? I'm going to keep these three. So I decided to get rid of this one, which is called Chic Copper. And that looks like that. I just, th they're all very similar, so I'm just going to put this one on this side. These eyeshadows, these are my newer Catrice eyeshadows. Actually, not that new. I got them back in March, but I got them when I was in Barcelona. So they do have a big memory and a big, it's just more meaningful because I got them when I was in Barcelona, when I was on my trip with my friends. So I think I'm going to keep all of these for now. Um, if I do another declutter video, maybe some of them will end up, you know, gone. But, okay, now we're going to move on to the last tray that I have here. This first one here is by Japanesque. Gorgeous packaging. I got this at work. And this is the number one. And it's a really beautiful, basic, kind of like shimmery white color. It's beautiful, but I have so many other colors and other palettes and stuff, which you guys will see in a different video. Um, so I'm going to give this away let that one go all right next are some I'll do these these Jordana eyeshadows I got these a long time ago and I gotta say these are very very nice and very smooth and they were only like a dollar or something um actually you know what should I do some swatches I don't know if I should I don't have any like wipes to wipe my hands or anything but these are really smooth eyeshadows and I don't know if I should keep... Okay, you know what? I'm not going to keep these. I'm going to get rid of them. I need to stop hoarding because um, I haven't used these in a long time. So, getting rid of those. Then we have... Oh, wow. This is a Wet n' Wild single eyeshadow. This one's in Brulee. Really basic matte color. Um, oh, you know what? I'm going to let this one go also because I have so many colors like that. Alright, then we have this MAC single eyeshadow here. This is probably the only single eyeshadow I have, like, in a pot. So, we have that. Um, yeah, this one is called Swiss Chocolate. I, I think I want to keep this. Alright, I don't know why, I just feel like I want to keep it. Then we have, I guess it's just one. This is one Essence eyeshadow that I have. It's called 35 Party All Night. This is a gorgeous color, really beautiful, has great reflect in it, but you know what? It's just too shimmery for me. So I'm going to pass. Put that over there. And then this here, Stila Eyeshadow in Rose Quartz. Guys, these are not good. They just are horrible eyeshadows. At least this one specifically. It's like their diamond collection or something. Oh, it's called their Jewel Eyeshadow. Not good. So gonna get rid of that this here was a gift from my friend um, what is this called I don't even know who it's by but it, I think it's like an Asian brand and it's just really pretty look how gorgeous that is I'm gonna keep this again more of a sentimental memory thing and then these here the rest of these in here are all MUA makeup Academy eyeshadows that my friend Larissa sent me 
and I thank her so much. I don't want to get rid of them because she sent them to me, but to be honest, I have to get rid of some of them because I'm just not going to use them. Um, the darker colors, I think I'm going to give away. This deep green, though, I think I'm going to keep because it's gorgeous, so I'm going to keep this one. And these are really nice eyeshadows, you guys, and they're only one, I think they're one pound because these are from the UK, so they're one pound. This one, I think I'm going to get rid of. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this one. This one's number 15. I'm going to get rid of, oh, this one that I'm keeping is called number 14. Beautiful color. This one, number 10. Ugh, gorgeous. Has a little bit of a chip in it, but I'm going to pass on that. This one's really pretty. Oh, this one's gorgeous. It's a beautiful pearly color. Number one. I'm going to keep this one. It's really pretty. This one here, number 13. A dark purple. Oh my gosh, how pretty is this? All right, I think I want to keep that. <laughs> This is harder than I thought, but I think I'm doing good so far. Look at these. All right, this one, number four. It's a beautiful lilac. I'm going to pass on this. Then we have, wow, this one's really cool. Um, I don't have any other eyeshadow like this, so I think I'm going to keep this one. Okay, three more, guys, three more. Then we have this one, number 11. How beautiful is that? Oh, these are just so pretty. Let's do the swatched. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. Gorgeous. Okay, I need this. See, if I swatched all of them, I probably I would, would have ended up keeping all that. So, good thing I just started the swatching now. Alright, this one. Ooh. Jeez. Um, sorry. This one's number three. Like a silvery... I don't know, this one's pretty. Oh, it doesn't swatch that well. I'm gonna pass on that one. And then I have one left, and it's called number 24. Oh, this one's not even open, so I'm definitely gonna keep this and play around with it because it's a gorgeous color. So that is pretty much it for my declutter for my single eyeshadows. As you guys can see, everything on the right I'm going to keep. Everything on the left I'm going to just get rid of um, it's just going to leave my collection. Either I'm going to give it away, sell it, throw it away, something like that. But that is pretty much what I ended up with. There's the divider. Keeping and getting. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the declutter of my eyeshadows. Please thumbs up if you enjoyed the first episode in this declutter series for my makeup collection. I had a lot of fun just getting rid of things I just don't use anymore or that are just old and so now I have room for a new makeup Maha. I know it's such a bad like cycle you know what I mean if you guys are an avid makeup collector you know what I mean but thank you guys again so much for sticking with me and commenting and liking and subscribing it's just it means the world to me and I can't wait till the day where I can just make a bunch of videos throughout the week for you I mean my life right now is kind of crazy working and everything but thank you guys so much I really do appreciate it and and I will see you guys in my next video. And then another episode of the Declutter series. It should be up fairly soon. Leave any requests or comments down below. And that's pretty much it. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. All my social media links will be in the description box. And yeah, that's pretty much that. Oh, if you're wondering, I should definitely do this more often. On my lips, I have, let's see what I have. I have just like a hot pink lip liner on from Coastal Scents. I don't remember what it's called. But the lipstick I have on is the Sleek, what's this called? Sleek True Color Lipstick. And this one is in Loved Up. Really beautiful, just hot pink color. And on my cheeks, I have the Sleek, I'm all sleeked out today. I just realized I'm wearing so much Sleek. I'll show you guys this too. The Sleek contour palette in medium and I'm wearing the bronzer color and the highlight that's what the glow is if you're curious love this highlighter it's amazing and yeah that's what's on my face so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one bye